what up this is just that dude and this is just that tv and i am here to talk about bad girls club season 15 episode 2 twin some lose some okay so i did not freaking uh do a review to the uh, bad girls club last week because a friend of mine came into town and you know i was out being a little body so i didn't freaking review it but I'm just going to tie in to what I think about the girls from the first episode and then just go into the second episode because for real, for real, the first episode wasn't shit. So, I got my notes right here because I don't remember these hoes. So let me just go down, <laughs> let me just go down the line on these girls. So Olivia and Diamond, they from fucking Philly and Harlem or whatever like that. They look like fucking the lesbian sisters or the gay sisters. Olivia is pretty. She's kind of like lipstick lesbian or whatever like that. And, you know, she's really cute. Diamond is kind of a stud or whatever like that. Diamond's still cute. Like, for real, for real. Like, <laughs> no. But, yeah, Diamond's still cute or whatever like that. They seem very cool. They seem very chill. They a little... They're a lot flirtatious with each other, but I mean, I'm just gonna watch this and see how it play out, cause we all, we all speculating. So I'm just, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. I'ma just let it do what it do for now. So, fucking Amber and Asia from fucking Houston and Brooklyn. I like Amber and Asia. They cool as fuck. They look hood as shit. Like, I like them for real, for real. So far, they just cool. They chill. You know, they just doing them so fucking far. I feel like. During the fucking season though, I feel like Asia gonna get a little messy. She look like she messy as fuck, like for real, for real. But so far, I like them. They kind of my fucking favorite so far. Then you got motherfucking Angela and Christina from motherfucking New Jersey. Like, I don't know. I like Amber. I like. I must say Amber. I like fucking Angela and Christina. They're they're they are cute. I like motherfucking um Angela boobs. She got some nice motherfucking boobs. I like those. Um, but I don't know, they just irritated me because they just, all they do is argue and bicker between each other and it's just irritating as fuck. Like, I get the, I get the feeling like they just motherfucking met. Like some T and Tamara type motherfucking shit like, oh bitch, I didn't know I had a motherfucking sister until motherfucking a month before I decided to come on the Bad Girls Club. Like, they don't mesh well at all and all they fucking do is just bicker about the littlest motherfucking things and it's irritating as fuck. They don't have to fix that shit for real, for real, before I get sick of it because that shit is irritating. And then you got motherfucking the twins, Anna and Jessica. Anna and Jessica, they're pretty, they're cool, they're from Staten Island. I mean, they cool or whatever like that. They kind of ditzy or whatever, a little stuck up. As you can tell, they come from like a little privileged home or whatever like that. Even though I believe they said their parents got a divorce or some bullshit. But, you know, they still kind of a little stuck up, a little, you know, bougie-ish. But they kind of cool or whatever like that. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. They're twins, so I don't really give a fuck. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is. So, fucking coming from episode two... The girls basically woke up because it kind of leave. This kind of started off when they left off at about fucking Olivia's cancer, or whatever like that. Olivia told the girls that she got motherfucking stage three cancer. And she's afraid to die. You know, she's going through all these motherfucking emotions and all this other bullshit. So the girls is waking up from that. They don't really know how to cope with it, how to motherfucking deal with it. Like, what the fuck do they do after you know somebody tell you some shit like that? Like, what the fuck? I forgot who the fuck was outside talking to uh, Diamond about it, but Diamond was just like, she just kind of, you know, wake up and just, you know, kind of brushes that shit the fuck off, you know, just kind of does her or whatever like that. You know, there's not really, oh shit, there's not really a motherfucking, a right way to go about the whole situation because whatever you do is going to be touchy as fuck, like that's some serious ass shit. So, you know, they were just kind of discussing that or whatever like that. Diamond was talking about how she knew that fucking Olivia had cancer, but she didn't know how serious the cancer was until, I guess, last night. And she felt like, you know, it was kind of good for Olivia to get it out because she never really talked about it like that. Maybe it was like healing, you know, healing for her or whatever like that. So the fucking producers come in there and they fucking talking to Olivia. They like, look, bitch, like, you're going to have to motherfucking go to the doctor because you need to get motherfucking checked up on this little situation because, for one, bitch, you dropped the ball on us. Two, bitch, we're not trying to be liable for any motherfucking thing that happened to you up in this motherfucking house. So we need to find out if you're good to be in this house, bitch, if you can go through this strenuous motherfucking bullshit that we about to put y'all through because, you know, Bad Girls Club be on some bullshit. 
So she agreed or whatever like that. So she went to the hospital, got some tests done and all that other bullshit. The girls are over the fucking twins. They say that the twins are born. The twins don't do anything. The twins kind of stay to themselves. And they don't really want the twins there. Like, Amber, she's still feeling some type of way about the twins being, like, fucking um, inconsiderate. And, like, not being here for Olivia about her fucking cancer or whatever like that. And she just, you know, she's still in her feelings about that. Why? I don't know. The twins was like, you know, basically, bitch, like, I'm trying to avoid the whole situation in itself. Like, shit, like, that's just shit that I don't motherfucking do. Like, they told the bitch on the first episode, like, I wanted it to calm down before I went and, all, you know, got all up in her motherfucking face and all that other shit. And I kind of felt the twins because I'm like, that's how the fuck I am. Like, I'm not about to sit here and you tell me you got fucking stage three cancer and I go running in your motherfucking face and, oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, like, no, bitch, that's not me. Like, for one, you drunk as fuck. For two, everybody all around you and shit, bitch, I'm not about to be around you. No, like, I'm going to wait till that shit die the fuck down and I'm gonna come talk to you later bitch probably when you sober like I ain't about to talk to you in this old devastating ass motherfucking state bitch no so you can have me motherfucking crying and shit bitch please I'm a motherfucking thug like I ain't about to sit here and be crying like bitch no so I kind of felt the twins on that one but I mean the twins are kind of boring and shit like that like for real for real this fucking petty ass moment the girls was like all sitting on the fucking stairs doing nothing like I honestly don't know what the fuck they was doing but they were sitting on the motherfucking stairs and I don't know which twin it was but she was in there on the phone with her boyfriend and they wanted her to get off the motherfucking phone just to come sit on the motherfucking steps and I'm like bitch but what are y'all doing like what the fuck y'all doing on the steps and they got a fucking attitude or whatever like that because the bitch didn't want to get off the motherfucking phone. And here go Asia talking about some, yeah, like, I don't know about the twins. Like, they got to go. Like, I'm just not feeling them. Like, they're born. They don't want to do anything. So they need to go. Their time is up. And I'm like, I guess. Like, what the fuck ever, bitch? Like, for real, for real. So the fucking, uh, they come over for the fucking BGC uh, photo shoot or whatever like that. All the girls looked pretty. They really fucking did. I honestly do believe, like, I'm not trying to, like, show the twins favorites at all, but I honestly do believe that the twins kind of look the best, like, for real, for real. Although I did like motherfucking Olivia and fucking Diamond's little outfit or whatever like that. It was so cute. Like, it really was. The way they was, like, uh, coordinating and every fucking thing. It was cute. Like, it really was. But, I mean, the twins, like, me, bitch, I'm a motherfucking glamour toad, like, for real, so... I like the twins outfit it was cute and their hair was big so I liked that they fucking outfit but the girls was kind of hating this shit because fucking um the photographer was kind of showing a lot of motherfucking uh, focus on the twins and they was kind of hating getting all in their feelings and shit and I was like bitch like don't hate bitch I will motherfucking walk down there and pop the fuck in front of them bit hoes like what the fuck bitch I'm here like Y'all gotta learn how to be bad bitches. Like, y'all supposed to be bad bitches, but y'all wanna sit around and mope and cry and, like, no, bitch, that's not what a bad bitch do. A bad bitch motherfucking still the shine, like, for real. I didn't like how fucking uh, Angela and Christina, they was cute as individual, but they wasn't coordinated or anything. They looked at it like they weren't sisters, and I was like, figures. So, fucking Amber, Asia. Uh, Angela and Christina, they go out for lunch or some motherfucking whatever, lunch or dinner or somewhere. And they was basically talking about the house and all this other bullshit, mainly talking about the twins. Talking about getting the motherfucking twins out the house and how the twins gotta go because they're born and they don't motherfucking do shit. Same old motherfucking story. So, they come up with this little plan and like, we gonna harass the motherfucking twins and we gonna make them want to motherfucking leave. So, fucking, they go home and they tell Diamond and, um, Olivia this plan. They was like, uh, no, like, I'm not with that shit. That shit is corny. Like, I'm not about to sit here and do that. Like, y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do, but I'm not going to do it. Before they fucking got to the house or whatever, they showed this little clip of Diamond, like, really having a cool little moment with the twins or whatever like that. And she was kind of talking about how she wished the other girls could see this side of the twins and, you know, like get the twins a chance to open up because if you want to be fucking serious like nothing is really wrong with the fucking twins they're just twins like if you fucking been around twins or you know twins like they fucking codependent on each other all they fucking feel like they need is each other so it's gonna take a motherfucking minute for them to branch out and motherfucking be cool with other bitches 
So it's like, damn, like, just get them a motherfucking minute to let their motherfucking guard down and to motherfucking be cool with all y'all other bitches. Because right now, they all they know is to have each other. So it's like, like fucking, that's all they know. That's all they used to. So I don't know. The girls is kind of just being like on one for no motherfucking reason. Like, they need to just calm the fuck down. But they motherfucking make it up in their head that it's time for them hoes to go. So they get motherfucking home and they kind of like at the little bar area and fucking uh, Angela, she sparks up a fucking unnecessary ass argument talking about somehow she can never get on the motherfucking phone because the twins is always on the fucking phone. And I don't know which twin it was. Like, I swear to God, like, I don't know these twins apart, like, at all. And I be missing when they name come down there, so... One of the motherfucking twins was like, well, bitch, I mean, if you want to get on the phone, all you need to do is say that you need to get on the phone. So this bitch, Angela, got all loud and shit talking about some bitch I told you and blah, blah, blah. And you need to motherfucking go home. Don't nobody want y'all here. Y'all boring. Y'all don't do nothing, bitch. Go home. And all this other shit. So fucking her sister runs up like, what, bitch? We born where we're not going home, bitch. We're not going no motherfucking where. Y'all not motherfucking making us get out. So then here come Asia come running up out of nowhere fucking tie her weave up talking about some yeah the whole motherfucking house feels like y'all are born we don't want y'all here so y'all need to motherfucking leave and the fucking twins are like flabbergasted they're like what the fuck like what the fuck do you mean that nobody wants us in the motherfucking house because we felt like we were cool with everybody in the motherfucking house like we greeted all of y'all bitches when y'all came to the motherfucking door and nobody has motherfucking said anything about having a problem with us not everybody just wants us out the motherfucking house and I would have felt some type of motherfucking way too because that's some shady ass motherfucking shit at least let these bitches know bitches y'all born like y'all need to do something or bitch I'm gonna want y'all to get out the motherfucking house don't just motherfucking make an argument and make a motherfucking plan to get a bitch out the house when they don't even know that you got a fucking problem with them in the first place like these hoes is cat fucking corny like for real for real so the girls was like y'all ain't getting us out the motherfucking house but then I guess they had a second motherfucking thought like they was like no nah, bitch like maybe we should leave because if we don't motherfucking leave then they're just gonna fucking torture us fucking the rest of the time that we're here so as they saying that or whatever like the fucking other girls they tearing up their barbies and shit and they go throw their motherfucking barbies on their bed and all this other shit and you got Asia talking about some well I guess the twins are leaving tonight we kind of thought that it was going to be like a little plan to just you know slowly uh, irritate them so they would want to leave but I guess we got to put them out tonight and I mean the twins did not stick up for themselves them bitches did not really want to fucking be there because them hoes they fucking looked at the barbies and they was like oh they tore my barbies like uh-uh i'm not dealing with this like it's time to go and they fucking left and i was like that's kind of weak as fuck but at the same motherfucking time i'm like bitch y'all need to motherfucking stay like why the fuck would you just motherfucking just leave that easily and then diamond was all talking about some i want to stand up for them but they not standing up for themselves and i'm like bitch if you have a motherfucking opinion then voice your motherfucking opinion why the fuck is it that motherfuckers on this show always motherfucking want to say something but then don't always want to talk in the confessionals about how these bitches is wrong and how these bitches are not doing something but then you want to you sitting there like you you're just as bad as them yes you're not motherfucking throwing these bitches shit out but you're not saying anything you're not telling these bitches that they're wrong or nothing like you sitting on the motherfucking side just watching the bitches do it like what the fuck like i don't know like this shit was wack but yeah the twins didn't motherfucking stand up for themselves and they motherfucking just packed they shit and left and as they was motherfucking leaving the girls went and filled up fucking water guns and fucking squirted they ass with fucking water guns and shit the twins allowed it and i'm like bitch if you're not gonna sit here and stay in the motherfucking house you're not gonna fight to be in the motherfucking house you're not gonna argue to be in the motherfucking house bitch at least beat somebody's ass because they spraying your ass with water guns like at least do something bitch this the bad girls club like bitch leave the house with a bang or with a little off of, bitch or something like you, you just gonna pack your shit and just leave like y'all nah, bitch y'all Staten Island bitches don't be talking about shit like fuck up out of here so the twins is fucking gone and the girls is happy they in fucking bliss they talking about some oh yeah like the motherfucking the the born motherfucking people are gone or whatever like that like they rejoicing and shit they happy but then they gonna say some oh but we don't want no motherfucking new bitches like we need to stick together and i'm like okay y'all want the twins gone but y'all don't want no new bitches why don't y'all just keep the motherfucking twins and 
just ignore them. Like, bitch, just do y'all. Why the fuck does the twins being boring and not motherfucking want to engage in the shit that y'all do bother y'all so motherfucking much if y'all don't want no new bitches? I mean, that's just my thought, but what the fuck ever? These bitches is fucking stupid. So... A cute little moment. They was in the house playing fucking high go seek and shit like that. And to me, that fucking high go seek game was kind of wack because it wasn't really hiding. But I mean, it was cute. It was cute or whatever. So, and Laura, the life coach, walked her badass in the motherfucking house looking bad as shit. And I'm like, bitch, yes, Laura, you better motherfucking do it. Laura knows she be looking bad as fuck. Like, Laura don't be motherfucking holding. Like, bitch, y'all can't hold a candle to this motherfucking Laura, bitch. And she know it. All through her motherfucking face. The way she sashayed her ass up through that motherfucking house. Bitch, she knew it. Like, bitch, I should be on the motherfucking show, bitch. 20 motherfucking years ago, bitch, it should have been me. But... <laughs> Fucking Laura came over, whatever, like that. And motherfucker had a little session with a couple of the girls. She had a little session with fucking uh, Asia. And Asia whole thing is like she never had like a little um, like a family experience or whatever like that. Like her mom always kept her away from a lot of family, and she never really had like parental support between her mom and her father. And that's why she's so close with fucking Amber. Is that her name, Amber? Yeah, that's why she's so close with her sister or whatever like that. And she said that her motherfucking mom was actually her first fucking bully. And she was just like sad about that. Like how the fuck can my mom be my first bully? Like that's, that's supposed to be my first hero, but I never had that or whatever like that. So Laura said she gonna work on her with that shit. Okay, so fucking Angela and Christina. Oh my fucking gosh, let me break this shit the fuck down. Might have to look at my notes because oh my fucking gosh, these two little, these two bitches is too much for me, like for real. So, <laughs> Angela and motherfucking Christina start motherfucking arguing about uh, Angela's snappiness. Now, Angela do be snapping on Christina about the littlest fucking shits. This bitch snapping, talking about some, oh my gosh, like you're so loud with the coffee machine. Like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, why are you making that noise? Oh my gosh, you're so gross. Like, you're so nasty. Like, you're gonna be portrayed like this. I'm like, bitch, just be complaining about a lot of shit. And then just be like, bitch, like, damn. Let Christine live her motherfucking life, bitch. Like, ugh. So, they was talking about that at fucking first. And then all of a sudden, fucking, um, Angela kind of flips it and was like, oh, Christina was in a fucking booty shaking contest when she was 14. And <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, like, I mean, you got ass, bitch, you better shake it. But <laughs> she was like, no, no, I wasn't, Angela. I was fucking 16. I think she said she was 16 or 17 years old when she was in a contest. And she was upset because she was like, bitch, you always do this. Like, you always try to fucking embarrass me. Like, why the fuck do you always have to fucking embarrass me or whatever like that? Then this bitch flips it and she was like, you talk mommy into the motherfucking divorce. It was your motherfucking reason why mommy motherfucking divorced daddy. So this bitch just, Angela flips it again and just busts down. Motherfucking went from zero to 100. Well, actually she was 50, she was, she was already like 50 or 60, bitch. And she just hit motherfucking 100 real motherfucking quick from 50 or 60. And she was just like, shut the fuck up. Christina, I fucking hate you. I hate you. Oh my fucking gosh. Like she was just, oh my God, like, I felt so bad. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, my heart was just breaking for these hoes. Cause I'm like, bitch, y'all need Iyala, some motherfucking body. Like, bitch, sorry, Laura, not trying to take away your credits, but ooh, these bitches need somebody. They need Jesus. Cause, Lord, behold, like, what the fuck? They was just going to fuck off, and motherfucking Christina was saying some shit, but they bleeped it the fuck out. And I don't know what the fuck she was saying, but I swear to God on everything, I don't know why my shady style want to say she was saying some shit like daddy touched her or some bullshit. Somebody touched some motherfucking body, like, bitch, that's what I got out of it. I don't know if it was true, but bitch, I'm, I might roll with that, like, for real, for real. But they bleeped all that shit the fuck out. But I don't know, it was just too motherfucking much, so Laura was like, uh-uh, bitch, like, I can't do this shit. Like, we're never gonna get motherfucking anywhere with both of y'all in here screaming at each other, so I'm gonna just split y'all the fuck up and see what the fuck y'all need to work on. And I mean, bottom motherfucking line, these hoes need to work on motherfucking listening to each other, seeing where each other is coming from with their motherfucking issues or whatever like that, and trying to work towards that bullshit. That's motherfucking what they need to do. So, that was all the hoes that he that she talked to, I guess, after motherfucking Angela and Christina. Laura was like, bitch, I can't do it. I'll come back tomorrow. 
So the hoes went out to motherfucking the club. They went out to supper club and they had a good little time. You know, it was just chill. They was just, you know, having fun or whatever like that. They come back home. Fucking Christina tried to break some, bake some motherfucking brownies and bitch was fucking up everything. Like I know that, I know that oven was fucked up. Like I know that oven was fucked up because them brownies was overflowing before she even put it in the motherfucking thing. So bitch, when that shit rise, when that shit rolls the fuck up in that oven, I know it spilled the fuck over, but whatever. She fucking got the pot and shit, fucking <laughs> eating the shit out the motherfucking pot and shit, and it was cute. It was whatever. So the end of this whole motherfucking episode was like the the motherfucking kiki for me. Hold on, let me get ready. Okay, so. The producers come in and get motherfucking Olivia to let Olivia know about her motherfucking test results. So, they sit this bitch down and they let this bitch know, okay, we got your motherfucking test results back. And the results is, bitch, you don't have cancer and you've never had cancer. This bitch is looking like, oh, okay. So, they was like, okay, well, you need to go in the house and tell the girls about the motherfucking results and you know like ease this burden up off of everybody because bitch you had everybody up in this bitch crying snotting ugly face crying bitch kim kardashian face crying up in this bitch like everybody like just was fucked up over this shit so you need to go make it right with every fucking body so she's just like okay that's fine that's fine i can do that so she go up in the motherfucking house she tell diamond first and diamond was kind of like what the fuck like but bitch, I thought you did. I thought you had like fucking, you know, like little appointments after that or whatever like that and blah, blah, blah. She was trying to explain to Diamond. She was like, you know, I just need you with me to tell the girls or whatever like that. So this bitch sit down and she tell the motherfucking girls. But the way she tell the motherfucking girls, like she didn't really say out her mouth, I don't have cancer. She said, oh yeah, I got my test results back. And they said that like, everything was fine. And you know, like blah, 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 blah. And you know, I'm all good. Everything is good. You know, I'm good. So, they like, what bitch? Like, okay, like, I don't want to not believe her and believe, like, this bitch was lying the whole motherfucking time, but something's not adding the fuck up. So, she was like, basically, she went to a motherfucking clinic and she had an abnormal pap smear come back and basically, it was believed that it could have been some form of cancer. You see how I put all that shit up in there? All that shit has to go up in there, okay? So, I guess this bitch, only she heard cancer and bitch got motherfucking scared. Bitch didn't go, like, get a second opinion. Bitch didn't go back to the motherfucking doctor and, you know, do some more motherfucking tests. Bitch just heard cancer and all of a sudden she just, I got cancer. And bitch just ran with it. Supposedly. So, they just like, okay, well, I mean, I hear you, bitch, but I still don't fucking believe you because the whole fucking time this bitch is calm as fuck. Bitch, this bitch is not relieved. This bitch is not rejoicing. Like, bitch, you were crying hard as fuck, scared that you was about to fucking die. Then you hear, bitch, that you don't have no form of fucking cancer and you're calm as shit? Bitch, I would have been up in that motherfucking house, bitch. Bitch, I would have been fucking praising Jesus. Like... This bitch was too calm for me. And she was too calm for everybody else. Because they was like, I'm bitch. Like, something is just still not motherfucking right with the whole situation. Bitch, I couldn't have motherfucking did it. Bitch, I don't went ham on her motherfucking ass. But I guess next week, they gonna go ham on her motherfucking ass. Or Asia gonna motherfucking say something to her. Because that's some fucked up motherfucking shit. But it is what the fuck it is. So, I mean, like I said, I don't give a fuck. But that was my motherfucking review, y'all. Make sure y'all thumbs up this video. Share this video on all y'all social networks. And hit that subscribe button one time for you, dude. I am just that dude. And I will see y'all next time.